Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, um, my updated collection for June 2023. Um, I didn't film one at the start of the year um, to like compare my progress um, because my collections have changed a lot and I'm expecting some of them to look bigger or smaller by the end of the year as well. Um, so I'm kind of just going to go through every Frederick club I own and also my bigger inclusions because I do store them. Um, so yeah, this will be going in kind of binder order. Um, there will be timestamps down below if there's like a specific collection you're looking to. Also, my sleeves um, are all linked down below as well in that Notion page. You can also find links to both of my Instagrams. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to be going to is my Beyond the Wide binder. I do technically have another of these, but I'm not using it. Um, this currently just stores some of my like replica sets. Okay, so the first thing I have is this I've pr um, Prom Queens replica thing because I hosted a group order for these because they're really cute. Um, these aren't sleeved purely because they are replicas and I would don't really have enough sleeves um, to use. All my sleeves that I use generally are all the same Dragon Shield sleeves for all my pocket pages. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's the first set. Then you have this flower set. These go for like £100 each, which is why I hosted a group order for replicas. Um, then you have here, this is my Le Seraphim replicas, miscellaneous ones. And then this is, um, these are meant to be broadcast replicas from Anti Fragile. And then this is a group card that came in my album I got from HMV. It didn't come in my album from Korea, but I'm not sure what it is, but it lives there. And then this is the OT5 plus group card, um, Kate Town for You Anti Fragile set. Um, I don't own any of the other Kate Town for You cards because they kind of started doing these like transparent PCs, which is why they're white sleeved. Um, so these are just miscellaneous sets basically that I'm not properly collecting. Um, and I'll go into my general miscellaneous section now. Okay, so the next binder we're going to is this binder. Um, and my miscellaneous section is at the back, so we're not going to go in binder order for this one. We'll do miscellaneous, then we'll work back to the other collections. Okay, so this is my miscellaneous section. And the first thing I have is my XG collection. Um, for XG, I collect OT7. Uh, my bias is Chisa. And I just have them back here because these are all replicas. Because if you don't know, XG album cards go for about £70 each. Because they're very limited. Um, so this is the XG... Um, mascara, I believe, is this mascara? I think so, yeah, this is mascara, um, but because of the album cards, and then I have OT6 for the broadcast, because I can't find a photo of Durin's anywhere. Also, someone did mention in one of my videos that the age order is wrong. I went off what I think, like, final Google, so I think this is right. Um, if it's not, let me know and I'll correct it. But yes. Then we have the Shooting Star album PC replicas. And the broadcast of a shooting star. Um, I think my favourite is Kokona. She definitely has, in my opinion, the cutest replicas. Um, but yes. Then this is my, my general miscellaneous section. So I have Mamamoo. Um, I just have these cards because I really love Mamamoo's music. Um, so I bought some of the albums. I'd love to collect OT4, but I don't think it'll happen anytime soon. Maybe in the future someday, but... And this, these two need white pockets. I was rearranging this the other day, so I, do, I actually ran out of white pockets. But this is basically my extra Le Seraphim page for my members I don't collect, or POBs, or compacts, or weavers. This is Chaewon's um, Fearless Black Petrol. This is Candy Che. Um, directly, I could trade this away, but I decided to keep it because it's going to be kind of difficult to get. This is Enche's Weverse Anti Fragile Compact POB. This is Che's Weavers, this is one of Enche's Weavers, and then this is Kazuha's QR code. And this is Enche's Compact Card, I believe. Um, I will plan on, obviously Enche is a member I collect for the Seraphim, as you'll see in a moment. I am planning on collecting the Weavers um, and Kazuha's too, like these cards eventually. But I'm currently doing photo books at the moment. Then we have the Bandit. Um, these are just my cards from Venom. Um, I would like to collect OT5 for this, but for now, obviously, it's not, like, a high priority, so I'm just going to keep what I have. Then this is my Eyes One slash, um, I've page. So this is Knuckles One Reeler Diary version, one of her selfies. This is Chain One's AR from the Diary version. 
this is one of Won Young's One Reader cards um, from the scene one, I believe. This is Eugene's, um, this is Ive stuff here. This is Eugene's Of Dive red version. This is one of her I Am cards, I think version two, and this is her sandwich POV. Then these are my extra cards for Luna and Triple S because technically Luna is like, well, Artemis is under Mod House, like Triple S's, so they're in the same section. This is Yubin's Hello82 from AAA, and then that's one of her album cards from the same era. And I just have this random um, Heejin, like, flip that AR. Um, yeah. That's kind of like my dump page for Triple S. Then this is my um, SM Girl Groups page. These are my 3 to cards. This is from the LA concert, and I think these two are POVs. I don't know where that's from. I think that might be Hot Tracks. And then this is one of Selgi's, um, Scrap what was it from oh yeah red velvet finale i think this is the finale version but i'm not sure it's one of them anyway then this is my like twice done page because i am planning on collecting ocean for all eras i don't yet for um feel special or form of love which is what these are um so i just have those for now and then this is my black pink miscellaneous section so for black pink i collect currently jenny and rosie album cards this is like these are juicy stuff and then stuff i'm not collecting so this is these are two uh kill this love japan cards this i believe is like the hyundai pop-up card i'm not sure where it's from but i know it was a merch thing this is her um jenny's album i think it's with drama card um and then this is these two are these three are square up cards that's how you like that the album more the album and then the born pink album cards uh, Digipack, and then Polaroids, and here, these are Digipack boobies, and then these are standard boobies, um, so yeah, and then this is my kind of soloist page, so this is from the Kill This Love, um, Japan Pink Fur, but I thought it was a pretty fur, so these are Yuri Season's Greetings, first set, and this little hold also came as Season's Greetings, then these are Alexa's Gone Vogue cards, just my pools, and the super cute mixed up card, which I really love. Then these are Yuri's um, Polaroids from my season's greetings. They just about fit perfectly in these pocket pages. So I have, there's technically three from each concept, but I just have these on the front, they're my favourites. And then um, four more on the back. Then this is my miscellaneous boy group page. So these are just TXT replicas, um, SMCU pools, and then some one-on-one -on -one cards. Um, then we move into large inclusions. So I just have my um, fearless things. These are from Warneric Diary, um, Yuri's, and then I'm not sure whose this is. I think it might be Envy's, but yes. Then that's compact general reserve from. I do have the other postcards, but they're currently on display on my wall. So that's why there's empty spaces there. Then my two Venom um, postcards, and then these are from the Village Perception Chapter 2. Um, this is the, um, this is a, this one of the Seraphim posters from Anti-Fragile. I think it's the Iridescent Opal version, I think that's how you say it. Then I have the Midnight Onyx version, Frozen Aquamarine. And then this is um, Nugent's I Am uh, poster. From, I think it's the first version. I don't know if the post is a version, but if they are, I have that. Then these are some twice inclusions Mamamoo, um, Red Velvet, and then a random Stacey one here. More twice. That's yeah, these Red Velvet um, postcard down there. More Mamamoo. These are all of their um, from Mamamoo. This section does a bit of a mess, by the way. Here on out, it gets a bit messy. Uh, these are Mamamoo's postcards from Reality in Black. I ran out of two pocket pages, so they're kind of just sat here collectively. Then these are twice Polaroids from uh, between one and two. So I have Momo, Sana, Mina, Dahyun, Chewie. Um, then these are the film strips or like stickers, I guess, which I have. These are Eugen's, um stickers, I am, and film strip. This is from, um, this is a Weki Meki merch, Saves My Bias. I got it as a freebie when I bought some Polaroids. Um... I'm not sure where it's from. I think it might be season greetings, but then we have this say postcard. I think from the same thing. Um, 
Then we have the three um, Between One and Two cards. And then this Yoli thing, for again, from her Season 3 Queens. And these are just new jeans. Um, we first pre orders for OMG, um, which I got from my friend. Then um, AA stickers, Triple S, and then Yoli Season 3 Queens stickers. Um, sorry if you heard my dog crying in the background, by the way. Um, he's fine. He's just being, my dad's on the work call and he can't be with him, so he's sad about that. But this is, um, a Venom poster, and then I have another, then these are just my Between One and Two posters. And then I have, those two are the exact same as this one, which is why they're not on display. This is her, um, because I think I have another poster on the way from Between One and Two. And then this is just an extra Le Seraphim um, album postcard. It's kind of dented, which is why it's not in there. It's just it lives in here. Okay, and then we're going to move on to, I think, we'll do the rest of this binder and my Le Seraphim collection first. Okay, so the next collection we're going to do is my Le Seraphim collection. Um, there's not a divider. I am currently in the process of making new dividers for all my collections. I just need to go and print them out. So next collection video, this will look nice and pretty. So as I mentioned when I was talking about my miscellaneous section, I collect three members of the Seraphim. Because it was my bias and you have NJ and Sakura. Um, technically Sakura and J1 are like tied um, for third bias. But I prefer Sakura's cards, so I collected her. Um, I do still love Yeonjun, by the way. Like, I, it's not like I don't like her cards and she's just never been in my bias line. Um, but I do still love, of course, all the members of the Seraphim. Um, my fearless progress, which is this page, is kind of sad, but I just have this NJ Weavers. I do have Kazuha's Weavers on the way, though, so that's exciting. Anti-Fragile is my most full page. Um, I'm only missing these two, because I have this one on the way. Um, I'd like to finish Anti-Fragile by the end of the year. I think I'd be able to. Um, Unforgiven, technically nothing's on hand, but I do have these two sets on the way. Um, and again, I'd like to be up to date with my The Seraphim collection by the end of the year, or just working on Fearless. So I'm only missing five cards across two eras. Yes, this is for the Japanese Fearless debut. I haven't decided if I want to just collect Kazuha for this, so I haven't done anything with it, but it's just here for now. Um, then we have Bibi. I currently collect Seiyun, as you can tell. This section is a bit of a mess, just a warning. So you have the debut album, I have her three album cards. This is the Collector Song on Gorgeous. Um, I only have one card. It's kind of I was reorganizing this the other day and I never got around to finishing it. Um, but yes, then these are just set up for her cards. I need to set up for chapter three, two. Um, and then we have these are just pure B's, and then these are little things from the chapter two albums. So I think this let me look. Pretty sure these are Pat Bing Su pretty sure i'm not totally sure no that's chapter two not quite sure what these are from uh these are like merch i think pieces but yes um i don't have a template on hand at the moment to be like up to date with where i am um i would like to by the end of the year be done up to date with my team collection and maybe collect some bias line like for example the first album because only three cards maybe i would collect bias line for that um, which is Siyun, Sua, and Haram, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. That's everything for Billy. The next collection we're looking at is my Triple S collection, and I collect Hayden, who's my bias. Um, I've made very little progress. This is just her Hello 82 and one of her AA cards, which is like this, and her Assemble cards. Um, my progress is pretty sad for this, but it's okay. Um, I am looking, but these cards are kind of expensive, so I'm waiting for them to go down in price. Or maybe look on other sites other than Makari for them. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this binder and its collection. Because I've already shown my miscellaneous stuff. Um, so now we're going to move on to my boy groups binder. Because it's like the next smallest collection, if you will. Okay, so for boy group, as you can tell by the cover, I collect Stray Kids as one of those boy groups. For Stray Kids, I collect OT8 from Maxident onwards. So this is the first set, second set, third set. Um, it was just the photo books I'm collecting. This is for five star. I'm waiting for my albums to get on hand with my friend. They're currently on the way to IKAD because K Time for You took a very long time to ship them out for some reason. This is the first set, 
second set and then double sided then we move into like replicas so this is broadcast replicas for christmas evil ordinary streaming event replicas maxed and broadcast replicas um i do have this you know i took it out to take a photo for a friend because she wanted like a wallpaper so i was like i'll take a photo for you um i don't know where it is but i do have it and this is replicas for the sound japan lucky draws these are the first two days and then the next two days um then <laughs> can you tell my bias is sangmin <laughs> these are just my extra cards i had when there's leftover slots i just buy a load of sangmin because i can uh the next collection here is wavy i'm collecting od6 with phantom currently um my progress is very sad but it's fine. I did buy, I think I bought one card, but um, it's, it's my collection. Then this is not Kai. This is just technically just larger inclusions, but this is a Peaches poster from SNCU. That's, mmm, like stickers. Uh, I do have the Polaroid thingy, which I talked about. These are postcards from the Peaches album, and then some mmm postcards. This is all, oh, um, EPQ stuff. It's in here, so I don't lose it. Um, but yes, that's all my boy group collections. I'd like to be done with Phantom by the end of the year, and also finish straight five stars pretty quickly by the end of the year, at least for the next comeback. Because apparently I might be having one, and I'm like, Strikers, I love you, but please, please stop. Um, but yeah, that's everything for my boy group collection. Next, we're going to move on to Blackpink, and then we'll do Itzy and Twice after, because they're, like, the biggest collections. I've been filming for, like, it says 20 minutes. Um, it'd probably be a lot shorter when you see it. I feel like people normally have, like, hour-long videos at this time of year. I'm kind of speeding through it, because there's not much I can talk about. Um, but yeah, this is my Blackpink binder, and as mentioned, I collect Jenny and... Rosé. I do have an OT4 cover because I alt OT4 bare pink, but yes. So this is um Square Up for Square Up. I currently just have Rosé set complete. Um, my goal is to have Square Up finished by the end of the year for my top two. Um, then you have Kill This Love, which I haven't listened for yet. We have How You Like That. I have one card on the way because these are still really overpriced. They are better than the, like, £15 we're going for, but still, it's, like, expensive. £10 per card. I'm not paying that when there's, like, eight I have to collect. Then we have the album. So I currently have one Jenny on hand, which is my pull. I actually have two on the way, though, so that's very exciting. And for Rosé, I'm almost done. I'm aiming to buy this when I... Um, next to my Makari Japan order. So hopefully I'll have that for my next story and cards video. Um... But yes, I'd like to finish the album completely. Um, and then these are the Born Pink POVs, um, the standard ones. Then this is Jenny's Polaroids. Um, I currently have those three. Technically, this is a POV um, for the Digi Pack, but I have it on the Polaroid page because it fits. Um, then we have Jenny's Born Pink stuff. It's very sad. But I have a digi pack. I pulled this um in my sealed album. I'm so glad I did. One, because it's really cute, and two, this card is so overpriced. Like I'm not paying thirty pounds for an album card. Are you kidding me? No. Um. Then I have her one of her pink selfies on the way. The one where she's had the suit on. So that's fun. Um. I'd like to make more progress with this, but. Is what it is. Then we have Rosé. I have this Polaroid, but I was taking a collection post. Um, and I forgot to put it back in. So it's somewhere on my desk, I think. But it's fine. Um, then you have Diddy Pep here, and then more of those Polaroids. Um, then you have her Born Pink stuff. Um, and her Digi Pack card. And then these are her grey cards. I have this on the way. I just need to buy the last one. Again, I just want to buy this on when I get paid next on my Macari so I can buy Macari stuff. These are her um, black version. This card is really blurry. I know it's official because I pulled it from my album, but it's just really blurry for some reason. 
Then these are her pink ones. Um, then we're going to large inclusion. This page is for Jenny's, um, the album stuff, and then how you like that stuff as well for the two members I collect. Red eyes, born pink postcards. My progress is going pretty good. Uh, I'm collecting this 84 set. I haven't got around to buying any of them. This is for the 84 pink set I'm collecting for warm pink. And then these are the black and grey versions for all my biases. Um, then this is my rosé vinyl stuff. Um, I could have sworn I had another final card. I don't know where that's gone. But these are my um, 2020 Polaroids as well from the Summer Diary. I do have um, Jenny and Lisa there. Then this is my like, non-album section. So this is the Summer Diary photo cards. Again, um, postcards I'm not collecting yet. And then Jenny's um, Loves It Girls Blink Fan Kit broadcast. Um, I love her handwriting. It's so pretty. These are two solo postcards. Two rosy things. I got it as a freebie. That's why the back is like damaged. I got it as a freebie. I didn't do that. These are my pulls from my Colors of Japan albums. Um, my pull from my How You Like That album, which was Jisoo. Uh, one of the well, the back version square up thing. Then stickers on the back of here from the album. Um, Jenny Solo inclusions. Then these are as if it's your last postcards. All of these. Um. Sorry if my voice sounds slightly strange. My allergies are kicking my ass today. I've taken so much medicine and this is not doing anything. But, yep. As if it's your last postcards. A friend actually was nice enough to send me these for free when I bought the signed as if it's your last promo. Which I really appreciate. But these are the black postcards. Space for Jenny's one. And then these are just my extra ones I've hauled. Um, these are the Digipack posters. In here. Um... Again, I just need to like buy some more four pockets to put them out, then I can move those to my um, miscellaneous stuff. These are this is all summer diary inclusion, so I'm just gonna speed through this. Okay, and that was everything for my black pink collection. Um, I'm actually going through this pretty quick. It's only been like half an hour since I started filming, which is pretty good. Um, but now we're going to do Itzy and Twice, which are the like, bigger collections I have. Okay, so we have my Itzy and Twice binder, which technically you could call it my JYP girl group binder. So first we're going to start with Itzy. Um, I old OD5, I collect top three, which is Leah, Rujin, and Che. Um, I'm currently collecting three cards per era. At the moment, um, I set up for this two videos, I think. I haven't made too much work with IC. Um, or with these two, because again, I just set these two up recently. But for Not Shy, I am complete. Um, Not Shy is my favourite album cards, so I was like very much wanted to complete those. Um, this is the yellow, red, and green version. Then these are my Guess Who cards. Um, I collected these three sets, um, which is Lolly, Ball, and Tape. There is like a orange background set, but because I don't like that much, I picked these three to collect. I'll probably collect that eventually, um, because I do want to collect album everything from my top three and eventually OD5. Um, for Crazy in Love, I collected this set because they all have, sorry, these sets because they all had the same outfit. For Checkmate, I collected these three sets. Um, technically there are two in each of these, but I preferred this set over the other pink dress set, and I already had these three, so I figured I'd just collect that set. I didn't have this J card for, like, the longest time, but I have it now, so it's okay. <laughs> Um, like I said, I do plan on collecting everything fully for all eras, eventually. Cheshire, my progress is so sad. I know it's just having a comeback. I do plan on finishing up before the comeback comes out. I've done that all on the way. These are my extra cards, so I didn't collect these sets. And then I have those two. This is just extra bias cards. And this is my unit slash Yuna and Yeji stuff, because I don't collect those numbers. Units from... It's me. Um, unit it's me card these are not shy not shy unit card crazy in love and then i have unit's check me set um also i just want to say these are not like facility trade these cards these three pages um i thought that would be clear because they're not this is on my trade sale instagram and also like they're in an active collection section um but someone dm me about these unit cards um 
they're not up for sale. I've never said they are. I just want to clarify. No, nothing's up for sale. Unless I, it's on my Instagram. Um, but then I have O D nine twice. I just realized this picture isn't O D nine. I just somehow didn't notice when I was making it. Um, I made these when I was very tired in the middle of my mock exams. Um, but yes, I collect album. Um, my bias line is Mina, Jillian, and Dahyun. If you're curious, I currently collect O T nine for Taste of Love between one and two and Ready to Be. I will be expanding that eventually to collect everything. But I'm slowly back collecting. Former Love I didn't collect because I was like in a weird collecting place then. But I will be collecting that eventually when I've done with this. So a taste of love. Um, these stickies mean things are on the way. Tactics is done. But it's not done until all the cards are on hand in my opinion. So you have lentis. Then you have the first taste set. The second taste set. Then you have Fallen. The like drink slash flower because everyone else holds flowers apart from G here. Um, then the like standard selfie set with what is the cast card. I actually quite like this card to be honest. I think it's really pretty with the alcohol free thing. And then the in love set, which is everyone and their mother's favourite set to collect, 0294. Um, this Momo card is gonna be painful because I've only seen it go for like seven pounds without fees on Makari. Normally the other cards of Taste of Love go for like £1.80 without fees on Makari. So like you can tell this is a popular card. I'm probably going to buy that last to be honest. But next we have Between 1 and 2. I technically am complete with this but everything's not on hand. So it's not complete complete. But this is the message cards. Um, the Cryptography version I think this is called. Um, then the Archive. I'm not sure what the versions are for between one and two. Um, this is like the blue version of the album, the concept. You could obviously pull these cards across any version of the album, but it's just that's what they're called on the spread, like the templates. Um, so I have the last card on this in the way. Then you have the second set, which is like the flowery set. Even the sun is holding a tomato. Diana's not holding anything, and Mina's not holding anything, but it's fine. Then you have the selfie set for this version. And you have the famous Pleshi set, um, which it was actually the first that I completed, actually. It wasn't too difficult. I pulled um, Tiger Che, which was at the, used to be a really popular card right when it came out. Everyone wanted it. I saw someone trade a one young PC for it, and I was like, damn. Um, but I have this complete, and I actually have a dupe of Momo in this really pretty... Oh, sorry, I just knocked off of my LEDs. Um, this really pretty, like, top loader here. I think she looks so pretty. Yes. Then we move into Ready to Be. This page is for the Digipacks. I know technically they got announced after the, um, standard versions, but because of the Moonlight Sunrise concept, they're going between Dream 1 and 2 and Ready to Be. Um, I just have Chase on the way. I need to make more progress with this. Most of what I have for Ready to Be is Bias Line, but you have the message cards. I will not be ripping the message cards. They're staying sealed. Um, then you have the ready concept. Um, this is technically damaged. It came as a freebie in my dad hand set, but it's not that visible, so I've just kept it for now. Um, then you have the two set. The second two set. The seller didn't inform me this was misprinted, which I'm just like, really? But it's fine. I can always replace it. B set, the first one. And the last B set. I would like to be done with Ready to Be by the end of the year, or before the next comeback ideally, but it is what it is. Um, then you have the Taste of Love pre-order sets, because I pre-ordered the album. But yes, that's everything for Itzy and Twice. That's actually everything I currently have. Um, in the future, you're going to see, very soon actually, two setting up videos. I'm going to be reorganizing my collections. Um, splitting up my binders, but because the supplies for that went awry for a while, I figured I'd just film this now, so it's done and out of the way. Um, but thank you so so much for watching. As I said, all supplies etc. are all linked below, including my socials. Um, and yeah, I hope that everyone has a really lovely summer. Um, most people's exams are probably done when they film this, but if you do still have exams, good luck. Um, yeah, and I'll see you soon. Bye.